Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to C++ Code Answers. I'm Homsaran Peculiar, and today we'll be working on a pretty basic logic problem on selection control structures. Write a program that prompts the user to input three numbers. The program should then output the numbers in ascending order. This means that if we enter the numbers, say, 5, 78, and a 1, we should get them in the order 1, a 5, and a 78, from low to high. So open our IDE and get working. The program prompts the user for three input, so we'll declare them. You may declare them as either an integer, a floating point, or a double. It just depends on the problem. But for our problem today, we'll just use the integer. Having done so, we prompt the user for input of the three numbers. We're working on control structures, if else's and switches. So for this code, we'll be using if else, and I'll explain later on this video why. Let me get a notebook so that we get studying on the logic of this code. We're dealing with three numbers, and the logic here is the only time num1 is the lowest is only if it's followed by n2 and then n3. or if n3 is followed by n2 and that's the logic for this case the only time that n1 is ever the lowest and now the only time num2 is the lowest is only if it's followed by n1 and then n3 or if n3 is followed by n1 and that's the logic for this case the only time n2 is ever the lowest And the only time that number 3 is the lowest is if it's followed by number 1 and then number 2. Or if number 2 is followed by the first number. That's the logic for this case. That the only time that number 3 is ever the lowest. And yeah, that's our three number ascending order logic. This logic we use on our if-else conditions on our code. Because we have operations such as greater and smaller than, we'll be using if-else conditions and not switch cases. The first condition And we output in that order. And the second condition and we output in that order.
the third condition. And I'm gonna put in the dot as well. Fourth condition. its output the fifth condition And then out of the output. And the last condition. Now I'd put <laughs> that's all of the conditions. Save our code. An error line twenty five. Oh, forgot a semicolon. Now compile and run. Okay, so let's try it out. Cool stuff. Now, code may have run successfully, but we actually didn't do things the right way here because we can't just have multiple if lines in a code. So we'll put else's on every if from the second if. Else if. And there, our code is now correct.
and that's it from me today guys please don't forget to like and subscribe this video and if you have any problems you'd like us to solve on this channel send it to us on our email address gg.ntehelang at gmail.com remember to code every day even if it's just a line or two that's so you get used to coding and you become good at it